Alrighty, I did a video a while ago about outputting over the SDI Blackmagic card out of the Unreal Engine. Now, at the time, I'd used Composure, which was a way of doing it, but it's not the ideal way of doing it. And so I thought I'd remake the video because that's not actually the method I've ever used in practice, <laughs> but um, is just the method I was using at the time. So. I'm going to remake that video, correcting the better way of doing it. So what we're going to need is a couple of plugins enabled in Unreal. We're going to need the media, both frameworks and IO plugins enabled. So framework utilities and IO, these two need to be enabled. We're also going to need either Blackmagic or Aja, depending on what card you're using. Once those are enabled, what we can do, go ahead and do is create an output. So media, Blackmagic media output, name it like so, black magic output. We're going to choose, I'm gonna go for 25 FPS apply. I'm gonna switch that to 10 bits and save. Now, what we need to do, so instead of making a composure composite, I'm gonna add a Cinecam in here because there's a few ways we can do that instead. And like so, and so. So if we go window virtual production, like so, what we have is media capture now. So this is the actual way of doing it. Uh, I didn't mean to dock it. This is the actual way of outputting. So the very, the easiest way to do it is media current viewport capture. That will actually just output the viewport here as is. So I can go ahead and select like magic. Now this is actually going to change the resolution of the viewport, as we can see, resize source buffer. All that sort of stuff. So I'm going to head and capture. You saw it added some black bars to switch to the 1080 view. And now we're getting the viewport out as a oh, SDI feed. Let me stop and capture. There we go. So this is the most performant way of outputting to the SDI because we're just using the current viewport. So there's no extra performance tax or anything like that. We're already using what we're already rendering and we're outputting that. Now, there are some other options. So I've added a Cinecam in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just un uh, set that to nothing. There we go. So I've added a Cinecam in here because that is another option we can do, which is to output a camera view instead, which will probably be more useful for most of you guys. We're gonna go ahead and click under media viewport capture. I'm gonna go ahead and click plus, I'm going to drill down and then on cameras, I'm gonna hit plus again. I'm gonna choose my Cinecam actor and then my black magic output. And I'm gonna head and Again, there's some capture options for resizing and stuff. I'm gonna hit capture. And so that's gonna output this camera view instead. So as I move this camera around, you can see that the view changes. Now this is more taxing because what we're actually doing, um, you notice the viewport set to real time off, but what we're actually doing is we're rendering both the viewport and the camera view at the same time. So we're getting a much heavier hit on performance. But if you need an option where you need both the viewport rendered, maybe let's say you're doing some mocap and you wanna see an overall on the viewport, you can also output just your camera view, perhaps from a track camera. So you can combine the two. Oh, there we go. Like so. So the last option we can do, which is this top one, I'm gonna get again, gonna clear that, is the media render target. So what this lets us do is renders a render target to the SDI. So we can go ahead and create one. So I'm going to, under textures, create a render target. I'm gonna call this, but I'm just gonna leave that. Probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna set this to 1920 by 1080, which is our output, like so. I'm gonna leave that as is. And then I'm going to add, I don't know if it's in the list, I'm just going to place and search for it, uh, 2D, scene capture 2D, like so. So if you haven't used these, these allow you to render to a texture, which is useful, say you're making a game, security camera footage or something like that. But I can now render this view to a texture, which I could then use in a material or elsewhere in the engine. But we can also output that 
over SDI instead. So drop that in there. Go ahead and grab the output and then hit. Oh, it's because real time's off. Crop, resize source buffer. Uh huh. Oh, that's why there's still something in that. So you can only do one of these options as you saw I needed to delete the viewport capture to get this one to work but now I'm outputting from this one instead so this can be a bit funky though uh scene color HDR let's go final color LDR no final color with tone curve does that look any better final color LDR I think that one's the right one so now I can use the scene capture to capture my scene and output over SDR in S SDR over SDI instead. So the use of this is if you want to run it through a material or you want to generate it based off a blueprint or something sort of more edge case scenarios but I guess we could use orthographic as well if we wanted to send an orthographic view out of the engine. I'm sure there's a few good uses for it. Um, If you find a use for exporting the media texture, put it in the comments because I'll be interested to hear what the actual use case uh, for some people would be for that. But otherwise, that is three better ways of outputting pro video out of Unreal Engine. And it was made for Ethan. So Ethan, if you're watching, there you go.